Hi everyone, Wonderbricks here with a huge video for you today. So today I'll be doing a review and speed build on Nanoblocks NBM031, the Deluxe Tyrannosaurus Rex. So looking forward to this build. This is the biggest Nanoblocks set I have attempted to build. I have a bit different setup this time as well. So tell me what you think of it. Some of the video quality isn't the greatest. I should have put my timer in a different position or left it out completely for this video. The autofocus just wanted to focus on the timer. Anyways, firstly, looking at the box, this is a much bigger box than a normal nano block set for obvious reasons. The front of the box has a big image of the completed Tyrannosaurus Rex. It also has how many pieces that are in it, which is 850 pieces, and the difficulty, which is a 4. There is nothing too interesting on the side of the box. On the back of the box we have a few images of the completed model on a few different angles, a few zoomed in images of the mouth, arms and legs. Under those we have a few images of blocks you will be using in this build. Also there is a big image of a CGI Tyrannosaurus Rex. Lastly you have where it was designed and made and a choking warning for no 0 to 3 year olds since they are small blocks. So inside the box we have 10 packets of blocks and the instructions. The instructions are on a huge bit of paper and it is double sided. There is 87 steps in the instructions with a lot of them blown out into many other steps. It has an infantry at the top of the first side of paper with all the parts needed to complete the job. Wish there was an individual parts list for each step it would make the build so much easier to build because it can take a long time to get all the pieces you need for each step and also sometimes it is a little bit hard to see what block you need to put down with the maroon colours and that they all look very similar so an individual parts list for each step would be very beneficial in those circumstances but just take a little bit of care when building each step and you should be all right oh well let's get on with the build firstly i've got to say we are what a build this is. It is very entertaining build. It is not too difficult to build, but some parts made me have to look at the instructions a few times. This model has a very interesting choice of colours. The colours that it is, I wouldn't normally associate with a Tyrannosaurus Rex, but all in all, it looks pretty good. Like I said before, a few of the blocks are hard to see where they go. I made a few mistakes because of this throughout the build. One of those mistakes were with one of the legs. I used the wrong angle piece. I didn't notice till I was doing the second leg and didn't have the pieces I needed to complete it. So I had to improvise and use a different block on the middle toe on both the feet. And it looks alright, but I could go back and strip it down if I wanted to, but it wouldn't look too much different so I'm not going to spend the time on doing that. For difficulty I would give this model a 4 out of 5. This is the hardest nanoblox model I have built before and I give this a high score because a few parts are hard to tell where they go and some of the blocks are a little bit hard to lock into place. For enjoyment I would give this a 4 out of 5. I love the colours and I like the look of the model. It uses the angle blocks very well. The mouth looks awesome, so I'll wrap up of the build. The pros of the build are, model looks great, there is a lot of definition, especially in the head and legs. The mouth slash jaw on this model is definitely the best part of it. It looks amazing, I'm surprised that I like the colour palette as well of this model. The maroons and light browns really go well together. The price of this model is also pretty good, it only cost me $40 Australian off a website called Smallforge. And this build took me 2 hours and 46 minutes to complete this build. Which is the longest build I have done so far. So for under 5 cents a brick I think it is pretty good value for money. So the cons of the build are the eyes and hands of this model. I don't like the look of them. The eye, I know they couldn't do too much more with it. It's just a single black round block on a clear orange yellow brick. Doesn't look that good to me. And the arms... I am sure they could have made something better. The instructions on this model is a little bit hard to see what blocks go where. And the infantry of parts, they should include a step by step ones. It would make it a lot better. So that's all for my video. I would love some feedback on the video from you all. 
to see what you think of the setup, what you like and don't like, so I can improve for my next big project, which is coming up very soon, and it will be the biggest set I have ever done, and one of my favourite franchises. I will have an unboxing, upcoming builds for the rest of the year video coming up in a few days, so don't forget to watch that one and see what I have coming up. Oh well, thank you all for watching. I hope to see you all in the next video. One Bricks out.